Hi everyone, Kathy here, and as I indicated in my last video, I did manage to complete a fifth project for the February 2017 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So today's project is on an Easter Bunny card. Before we begin, I just want to share with you a couple of still shots of the Bunny card. And although I try to keep it down to a minimum, we are going to be using a few different products for this card today. So first up is the heart punch that I did use in the previous month's kit. But if you happen to have hearts left over, you could use those. And those hearts are cut out with pink pirouette. And there's the three cardstock colors from the kit that we're going to be using in the card too today. And just to show you that little flower there, you can punch that out by e using either one of those punches, just in case if you have one or the other. And okay, so onto the bunny. Uh, basically, you're just grabbing one heart and you're going to cut it in half and just clean her off, clean the edges, and that'll be the bunny ear. And then grab a second heart and you're going to do the same thing, but you're just going to cut along the edge there just to make it a little bit smaller for the arms. Next, we're going to draw the bunny face with a black stamp and write marker. And just to let you know, I didn't practice previous to this video so I absolutely wasn't happy with the bunny face and uh, so when I got up this morning I just redrew it and glued it over top of the original bunny face. You probably didn't notice it in the first stills. You'll see it in the stills at the end of this video. And we're just throwing on some additional detail for the bunny. You can do that if you want or you can just leave it off. And we're just going to glue all of the bunny pieces together. And just to let you know, I did remove the peak off of the top of the bunny head, just so it looks more rounded. And when we get to the back end of the bunny, I also remove the peak off of there too because I thought it was a bit too pointy. I did forget to do that and then I took the uh, little tail off just to remove that peak. So I think it looks a lot better. So that's our lay down bunny. I think he's pretty cute. We're going to be moving on to shading this bunny. Now you don't have to shade it and just give it some pink cheeks, but I decided at the end there that I'm going to shade it. It's actually better to shade all the pieces first, but I always tend to change my mind afterwards. We're just shading that with, I believe it's Blushing Bride. Or it could be Pink Pirouette. Whichever one that's a bit darker, and I think it's Blushing Bride. And then with a white pigment ink marker, which is by Signo, I just put use that for the white of the eyes. Okay, so now we're going to the cardstock from the kit, and I'm just showing you how I hand drew the big egg. I mean, I could have used the oval dies, but they're not quite egg shape. So I figured I would just hand draw that and just show you how I did it. And just clean up the edges just to make it nice and smooth. And that's a good way of using up your cardstock, huh? <laughs> Okay, so I think that was Bermuda Bay. We're just going to shade around the big egg there just to make it look a little more 3D instead of flat. To create the other balloons, we're going to use the balloon punch. So we're going to need two of the larger balloon size. So one in Clips of Coral and one in the dark blue. And I also have a little piece left of the Bermuda Bay. So we're going to use that for the small balloon size. Okay, and then we're going to remove the balloon knot, I guess we'll call it that, 
for all three of those pieces. And then we're going to shade each one of those balloons just to give it some more definition. For the Bermuda Bay one and the dark blue one, we're going to shade that with Island Indigo. Again, you don't really have to shade any of the eggs, but I really think that it gives it another life when you do shade them. And then the last egg, did I call it bl balloons earlier? <laughs> They're eggs. And the last egg, we're going to color that in with the Calypso Coral color. Okay, and just showing you the stamp set we're using to create the flowers for this card. Someone's texting me. And also we're going to be using the grass dye there. So first we're going to create the flowers and we're just going to color those in using the Zig Clean markers in I think it's yellow, the light pink and the pink color. And I really like using these markers because they're nice and bright. And by the way, the cardstock I'm using there is just no-name brand from Staples. So for small images like this, it, it's not too bad with the Zig markers. And then I just hand fussy cut them out instead of using the dies. I figured it's just as quick. The next thing we're going to do here is cut out some grass. So we're going to use the die from the Basket Bunny bundle. And we're going to do two of those for the card. And again, we're going to use the cherry on top design paper. And we're just going to go through there and pick out a nice yellow color. And that was cut down at four inches by five and a half. No, four inches by five and a quarter. And that is a top folding card base, which is four and a quarter by 11, and then scored at five and a half. And that small flirty flamingo panel there is, uh, what's the measurement? Three inches by four and a quarter. We're going to put the grass across the lower part of the flirty flamingo cardstock there and just right across the entire part of that card. And we're going to uh, adhere that with some foam tape. And we'll just glue down that big egg onto the card there. And the blue egg there, I decided that it looked a little flat. So off screen, I did take that off and raise that with some dimensionals. And the flowers, we're going to pop that up also with some dimensionals. And by the way, I did throw some glossy accents on the flowers and I did that off screen as an afterthought because since I had the glossy accents out anyway and uh, that way the flowers or the colors of the flowers pop. I wanted to give the bunny some gold carrots so I'm using the gold glitter cardstock from the kit and I did originally make two carrots but I found that they were a little bit too small. And to create the green 
foliage part of the carrot, I use the leftover piece from the grass and just kind of cut off a couple of pieces there. And I did create two carrots, but I didn't like them. Although I did stick down one of them, I got up this morning and I said they're just too small, or the, the carrot is just too small. So I did create a new, new carrot that's a lot bigger. So I did take off the green bit there and I stuck the two on the one larger carrot that I made this morning. Well, you're gonna see that on the still and I think it looks a lot better. All right, so I found the sentiment from the Circle of Spring stamp set and I just created a flag uh, type banner for the sentiment there and I'm just going to raise that with some dimensionals and just going to put it up against the side of that one flower. So pretty simple. And I'm just going to show you some stills in just a moment and then you'll see all the changes that I made. Well I hope you enjoyed this final card for the February 2017 Paper Pumpkin Kit. I do have other ideas, but I'm just running out of time. So I did receive notice that I'm gonna be receiving the March kit tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching.